Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fixer Med. Welcome back to another video of mine where today we'll be covering the Anki add on known as Deadline 2. Deadline 2 will allow you to calculate how many new cards you need to do per day depending on when you need them done by. So, for example, if you have 2,000 cards that need to be done by May or July, the add on will calculate how many new cards you'll need to do per day in order to see them at least once during your review. This is a really great add-on for anyone who has to prepare for a quiz every week, a test every three weeks, or a big final at the end of every semester, or even if you have a huge standardized exam that you're gonna need to prepare for in great detail over the course of two years, like in the case of med students for the USMLE or dental students for the CBSE. So, Without further delay, let's go ahead and get to the crux of this video. So to install this add-on, you're going to need to copy the add-on code from the end of the web address, which I'll have linked in the description below from here. Or you can scroll down and just get the add-on code from the download section, which is what I usually recommend people to do. So if you're on Windows, hit Control C to copy this code. If you're on Mac, hit Command C to copy this code. So go ahead, copy, open up your Anki, go to tools, add-ons, get add-ons, copy the code in by either hitting control V or command V. Hit okay, and process, okay again. If you have the add-on Anki restart by Shigeyuki, you can hit restart Anki now and it'll just restart it for you. If not, you had to manually restart it. And if you want this add-on, I've made a video about this in the past, so be sure to go ahead and check that out as well. Go ahead and hit yes. Give it a few seconds to properly restart. Fantastic. Now, since I have a lot of my Anking cards suspended, I'm going to have to go in and unsuspend them to get the actual picture of how many cards I need to be done by a certain date. So if you have school specific tags, this would be really helpful. So you can just go ahead and unsuspend the cards you're going to need for an exam or quiz. If you're studying for USMLE CBSE, you can just go ahead and unsuspend the uh, organ system you're in, and if you want to be done by a specific organ system on a specific date, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to be done by a certain subtopic in a organ system or discipline, you can also just unsuspend those cards and calculate how many cards you need to be done with. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for genetic terms. I'm going to go ahead and unsuspend all these cards. Fantastic. I have 30 cards. I want to be done with these 30 by, let's say, Saturday, since it's Thursday right now at the time of recording this video. So I'm going to go to Tools, Deadline, and then Configure Deadlines. But if you don't have this option in your drop down, you can just go to Add ons and then Deadline 2, and then Add a Deadline. So you can hit the On King deck, Saturday and then hit add deadline and process the deadline. So I've seen zero cards today that are new. I have 30 cards remaining, so days left is two, so I'm gonna have to do 15 cards. Now this is a pretty simple calculation, obviously, but if you need to have a more complex setup, you can do so and just unsuspend the cards you need unsuspended at the time that you need to study them and the add-on will calculate how many new cards you need to do per day. Guys, if you have any questions about this add-on, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. If you just have any questions about Anki in general, you can go ahead and comment them down below as well. I try to respond within five minutes to my comments as of right now. I don't know if that will hold up moving forward, but I'll try to respond to the comments as fast as possible while I'm still a relatively small channel. As always guys, I appreciate all the support you've shown on this channel. It really means a lot. I never thought the channel would get big the way it did. So I'm happy that some people are finding this content valuable and useful. 
and I'll continue to make content like this moving forward. I'm not going anywhere. Anyways, guys, if you like this type of video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, etc., etc., for more content like this in the future. This is Fixer Med signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone, and good luck studying as always. Goodbye.